Tonight's lesson is computing actual lengths from a scale drawing. We'll be using our strategies of equivalent ratios and proportional reasoning to help us out with that. Take a look at the first example. A model of a scale a skyscraper is made so that one inch represents 75 feet. What is the height of the actual building if the height of the model is 18 and 3 fifths inches? So take a minute, pause the video, try it out, come on back. All right, so what I would look at is I would say, okay, in our model, one inch represents 75 feet. The height of our model is 18 and 3 fifths inches. How many feet is that? And I was just looking, I'd say one times what is 18 and 3 fifths? Well, one times 18 and 3 fifths. So if I'm going to multiply the numerator by 18 and 3 fifths, I'm going to multiply the denominator by 18 and 3 fifths, and that'll give me how many feet high my building is. Okay, so let's do 75 times 18 and 3 fifths. That's 75 times 5 times 18. Use your calculator if you need. Is 90 plus 3 is 93 over 5. Multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom. 75 times 93, use your calculator. 75 times 93 is 6,975. So we have 6,975 divided by 5. 6,975 divided by 5 is 1,395. So this building, sorry about that. My screens are jumping on me. So this building is 1,395 feet tall in actuality. Let's take a look at our second example. The diagram shown represents a garden. The scale is one centimeter for every 20 meters of actual length. Find the actual length and width of a garden based on the scale drawing. So we want to find the actual length and width of our garden. We know each square in the drawing measures one centimeter by one centimeter. And then after we find the actual length and width, we'll find the actual area of the garden. Take a minute, pause the video, try it out, come on back. Alrighty, let's take a look. So we know one centimeter is 20 meters. Let's figure out how many centimeters in our length. So if I look at my length, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 8 centimeters in my length on my drawing. So if 1 centimeter is 20 meters, 8 centimeters is how many meters? So 1 times what is 8? Well, 1 times 8 is 8. 20 times 8, same to the numerator and denominator. 20 times 8 is 160. So the length of my actual is 160 meters. Let's find the width of our actual. Again, 1 centimeter represents 20 meters. I want to find the width now of my drawing. This is one, two, three, four. So that's four centimeters on my drawing represents my width. And I want to know how many meters that translates into in my actual garden. So we say one times four is four, which means we need to take 20 times four, which is 80. So the width of my actual garden is 80. The length of my actual garden is 160 meters. So let's find the area of our actual garden. Area is length times width. Let's take our actual length, 160 meters, times our actual width, which is 80 meters, 160 times 80. 12,800. 12,800 meters times meters is meters squared. So this is the actual area of our garden. And it's important that if you want to find the actual area, you use the actual length and the actual width. We're going to talk about other strategies to find it, but it's important that you use the actual length and actual width to find the actual area of the garden. Finally, I'd like you to write up this focus question for tomorrow. Can, can
can understanding scale drawings help you make decisions? And I want you to explain that. So just take a little time. Why does understanding scale drawings help you make decisions? Take care. Have a good night.